All right, this video is about how to use the prepaid booking system um, and just generally how it works. So when you go to the, to the site, you're going to see opening starting usually within the next, let's say, day or two, if it's fully booked in the next coming days and you won't see any times in those days. And so things to notice is that uh, first thing, obviously, make sure you're paying attention to your time zone. It should default to your local time, but if you know there's some elaborate firewalls or security, something like that, it won't do it will work so you can always check it manually so first obviously check your time zone um, then the next thing is it'll show you the coming times and if you want to see more times you can click on more times and then if, if what what people will often notice is if you click more times again you get nothing right now the reason that 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 happens is this system only lets you book about say 10 or so days in advance um, and that's and that's and that's actually by design the reason for that is because I have a zero cancellation booking policy, I keep the window short. I mean, <laughs> a little weird to have no cancellations and then like, you know, have something where you can book like nine months in advance. That said though, if you do want that time extended, that can easily be done on a, on a customized basis. That then there's no extra charge for that, anything like, anything like that. You can book farther ahead keeping in mind that there's still no cancellation. So if you're one of those people who's like super organized and you're just like, listen, I got my schedule planned out for the next like 10 years and I got like every possible contingency handled, you know, we can we can extend that just about as far as, as you like. Um, but that is definitely something to be used carefully because, um, you know, there's this, it's not like, you know, a lot of places have like 24 hour canceling window notice and that kind of stuff. I don't have that. I have like a no cancellations, no matter what policy. So that, that's why, and that's, and that's why I keep it a little bit shorter. Right. So, um, that's the general gist of it. Now the, the downside of the no cancellation policy is that I'll, I'll, let me, let me show you a thing. So let's say we click say Tuesday, right? Tuesday is 610, right? And let's say you want to make it recurring, well, it, it won't work. You see the see the see the issue. It, it, it because it it doesn't let you go past that time. So that means it needs to be manually booked in the in the in the coming weeks as well. Um, now, in addition to this, so so this is just like general times that are available, right? But if there's a particular time that you like, let's say you're like, you know, I really want to do say. Uh, let's say Tuesday at 6.10, that's like, you're like, that's the time that I want. I want that to be my time on a weekly basis. Then I can also send you a private custom link where this will become, you'll have that, you'll have that, you'll be able to book that ahead of other people. Um, yeah, you, you, you'll be able to book in advance of other people. I mean, right now this time is open, but like literally anyone can book it. There's no particular restrictions on this. So if you wanted it to be like your time, that would be the way, that would be one way to do that, to just make it. If you prefer to just kind of go ad hoc and just kind of book whatever kind of suits your fancy that week, then you wouldn't wouldn't need any, any custom time. If you do want a custom time, you know, just email me about it and we'll figure all that kind of stuff out. So that is the basics of our very weird booking system and how it works. Uh, it, I mean, I know there's no such thing as a perfect booking system. This is, you know, version 10,000 of the booking system. I'm sure there'll be a version 10,001 at some point that'll be in some ways different. But this is what we have currently at the moment. Uh, anyway, hopefully that is helpful. If that doesn't answer your questions, then the next step, of course, would be to set up a free consultation. I'll walk you through whatever part of that process. And we can kind of figure out a system that works well.